Edify means to enlighten, encourage, and uplift individuals intellectually, morally, and spiritually. And that's exactly what our Edify podcast guests do as they share practical wisdom on living our faith in public. I'm Scott Landry. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the Edify podcast. Joining me today is Mary Hassan from the Ethics and Public Policy Center in Washington. Welcome, Mary. Thank you so much. Wonderful to be with you. So Mary, some of our listeners are familiar with your writing and your talks on very hot button topics going on in America today. Things like the Equality Act. You talk a lot on a war on parents' rights. Uh, you've done uh, an Edify video on gender ideology and how that hurts women. What has driven you to say, this is where I want to devote my life's work to educating others on these issues so that we can make America just a healthier place to live? You know what, I think it's because I'm a mom and, and I look at the world through that lens and I, I look at what families are facing. And I realize the truth that the church has and faith and reason go together and we need to get that good news out. And then I, I find that so many people are looking for answers, but if you can just make it simple for them, bring it to them, give them facts, uh, then it opens up hearts and, and uh, you know, hopefully leads people in their entire lives to be more oriented towards the Lord. Why are we at this moment in America? I'm sure a lot of people feel like, whoa, what has happened? All these changes that we don't like are happening so quickly. What is, what is underneath all of it? What's driving it? Well, Pope Benedict XVI called this the age of sin against the creator. And I, I think that's a lot of it because you can trace the roots of things like the transgender phenomenon back to contraception, back to abortion, back to this idea that I decide you know, my body, my choice, I get to do what I want. Mm -hmm. And so even though many people don't intend that, you know, they may be drawn out of compassion or um, a misguided compassion to be sympathetic to transgender rights or, or things like that. Really what's going on with those ideologies is a repudiation of God, his design for us as human beings. Even just the idea that we receive our bodies as a gift and, and to realize that. So, so the roots are deep, it, it's spiritual. It's also ideological, you know, as, as faith has decreased in the culture, I think people are, are more vulnerable to being kind of swept aside, swept in the wrong direction because they're, they're not grounded. You mentioned that you see the world in, in a primary way as a mom. There are many parents across the country that find out too late that their responsibilities, their authority as parents are being undermined by lots of school and other government of officials. What should parents know about? What should they pay attention wherever they live in this country? What are the types of questions they might want to ask school leaders to just make sure they'll continue to have the rights that they're taking for granted right now that they do as parents? Well, I think parents have to be very wise and they have to understand that, that our secular institutions have really drifted and they, they no longer respect the authority of parents. So there's a, um, a tendency of some in the helping profession or in education to see themselves as the protectors of young people, oftentimes even against their parents. So you have to be very deliberate. You have to figure out where people are coming from. Um, and be open with your own child, discussing things, but keep your eyes open. You know, what is it that they're hearing? What are they learning? Who are the people who are influencing them? Do I trust them? Uh, is my trust well-grounded? You know, do they share even the same vision of the human person, even if they don't share our faith? Because that's, it's a very stark divide when people uh, no longer accept the truth about who we are, male or female. They're, they may have good intentions, but they're not gonna be healthy guides for our children. So I think parents need to have their eyes open, ask hard questions, and not be afraid to act. Because we have not just the right, parental rights, we have parental responsibilities. And when we see something going wrong for our kids, we need to realize there are no do-overs on childhood. And so we have to have the courage to act, to be bold. If it means removing a child from a school, um, taking some other action, we need to do that. Beyond courage, 
It helps parents to be informed on the issues, mm -hmm. to know how best to articulate a message or to question a message. And you put a lot of resources on all these difficult issues on a website, personandidentity.com. What other topics have you recently posted about on personandidentity.com? Well, we focus on doing two things with that project. We're trying to promote a vision of the human person that's, that's an integrated vision, the truth about who we are, but then also equipping Catholics and Catholic institutions with resources and, and language and facts that they need to counter gender ideology because our kids are just being flooded with this. And one thing I would say to parents, you know, I, I hear from parents all the time, and sometimes they've found out almost too late that a child has really gone down a, a path that's harmful to them and that, that breaks the parents' hearts. And, and to them, I would say, you know, trust God and invite God, invite his mother to come to care for them, to bring other people into their lives if you no longer have that, that vantage point. But never give up. I mean, God is a God of miracles, and he loves our children even more than we do. We'll end on that note. She's Mary Hassan from the Ethics and Public Policy Center. That website, once again, is personandidentity.com. Mary, thanks for all you've been doing to help educate and edify all of us, especially Catholics, so that we together can fight for our country and edify our nation. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. To make it easy for you to listen to future Edify podcast episodes, please make sure you subscribe over at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Thank you.